Hi everyone, how are you doing? I hope you're well. So today I'm going to do a short video on healing. I know it's a vast subject, but this morning during a guided meditation, um, Spirit shared some information with me and I felt like it was today, the day to share the information. So I feel the video is for people who are going through basically a healing phase at the moment but they feel discouraged and disappointed because maybe uh, unhealthy or patterns they thought they healed came back to their life due maybe because they had to face a new challenge or a new obstacle in their lives. So I hope the information I'm going to share with you is going to encourage you to stick to it. So first of all, Healing is not linear. And what I mean by that, it's not a step-by-step -step path for you to take from unhealed to healed. Let's face it, sometimes healing will be going throughout your whole life as you overcome new challenges. Yes, it's true, some patterns can be healed very quickly, but others and the example that sprang to mind is, let's say, a pattern that's been in, uh, in a family line for quite a few generations will take longer. So it's not what I call a race to the finish line. It's going to be different from one person to another. So if you, if you are in that situation now, uh, maybe you feel that uh, you fall back a step or maybe... Uh, you feel you're back to square one, but I promise you that's not the case because you're going to realize that you will have the ability um, to be back to healthier uh, habits rather quicker than before. You've done it before, so don't give up, just keep at it. And please don't give yourself a hard time. It's time to give yourself some compassion more than anything else. And it's interesting, going back to healing, if I had an analogy, I would describe healing like going through the different layers of an onion. And it's true, you heal a bit at a time when you face, let's say, a new challenge or a new uh, obstacle in your life, and you're going through the different layers like the different layers of an onion. And talking of patterns, I have noticed from past experiences, when we are in that space feeling discouraged and thinking, oh, here we go again, I have to go back to a pattern that I thought I healed, uh, we have a tendency, and we humans, have, we're very good at that, to compare ourselves to others. So please try not to compare your healing journey to someone else's because let's face it, our healing needs are as varied as we are. Um, yeah, basically my healing journey is going to be very different to yours or to someone else's. So please bear that in mind. Try not, compare, not to compare you know, your healing path, your healing journey to someone else's. And it's interesting, there is also an aspect that a spirit shared with me this morning. It's all about how you're going to approach healing. Of course, when we talk about healing, shadow work, we humans, we try to shy away from that. But how I thought about it this morning, um, how to define healing... I would say for me, healing is more a practice than a task. A task can be a word with a negative connotation. So if you think about practice, you're talking about steady, regular healing, going back maybe a few times uh, to heal an old unhealthy pattern. But slow and steady wins the race. That's what I heard this morning. Uh, during my meditation, because let's face it, quite often, healing is not once and done. So there is that aspect of steady healing work 
being patient with yourself and not giving yourself a hard time. So I thought I would finish this short video with a quote from my friend Essence Kethras. And this quote hopefully will help you to remind you that we are humans after all. We're here to grow and evolve, especially during um, phases where we have to face new challenges and new obstacles. So the quote from my friend Essence Catherus is as follows. The true test of a master is not that he never falls down. It's how quickly he gets back up. I repeat, the true test of a master is not that he never falls down. It's how quickly he gets back up. I think it's absolutely beautiful. So remember this. If you're going through a tough time during this healing maybe phase in your life, remember you're human after all and you're here to do your best. So that's it for this week. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking and sharing. And if you haven't already, please uh, subscribe to the channel to receive notification on future videos. And if you are interested to get a personal intuitive reading with me, please check my website. You'll find the link down below. So thank you again for watching. Until next time, bye for now.